you said you were born to do this. What is it like being here as the host for iHeartRadio Awards? Man, it feels great, you know, to even be chosen. You know what I'm saying? Um, my career has is, is been very, very exciting. You know what I'm saying? And this just adds to the excitement. But I'm honored, and it's a pleasure to do this because I came from radio, and I think that's what makes it even more special. Do you have any, uh, how many wardrobe changes do you have and what surprises do you have for the night? I'm going to keep it extra simple. I'm not going to have too many wardrobe changes. You know what I mean? This this show moves like seconds, 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 every second counts. So maybe two or three, that's about it. You know, I don't have to overdo anything. So I heard really bringing it. So you have Cher, Beyonce, Justin Timberlake, anybody that has you Star Trek and what do you think of this lineup? Man, I'm going to be honest, who I'm starstruck about, Meryl Streep. I'm the biggest uh, Devil Wears Prada fan, so I can't wait to see. I'm dead serious. Like, I can't wait to see Meryl Streep. I'm with you on that one. Yeah. Um, you're wearing multiple hats tomorrow. You're hosting, you're performing. <laughs> what are we expecting from your performance? What is this like for you to have to kind of think through all these hats? Yeah, this, this uh, hosting and performing, two totally different people. You have, like, Chris Bridges, the host. Then you got Ludacris, the performer and entertainer. Two separate guys. I don't even know who these guys are. So any surprises about your performance for tomorrow? If there was a surprise, I wouldn't be able to tell you because it would ruin the surprise. So you have to watch on Fox. Make sure you check it out. All right, fair enough. You have four daughters. Which one are they starstruck to see? And did you bring any of them with you? You know, they're big Beyonce fans, of course. Mrs. Cowboy Carter, they're definitely fans. All right, fair enough. <laughs> um, you're coming off the most watched Super Bowl of halftime show of all time. You had over a billion listens on Spotify. What was that like? And what is? And did you think this song was going to blow up the way it did? First time I heard, yeah, uh, when Little John sent it to me, I knew it was a smash. Um, I definitely am just happy and proud to be a part of the most watched Super Bowl of all times. I don't think that any of us thought that 20 years later it would be that huge and, let, and stand that test of time. I knew it was going to be huge, but wow. Just wow. Thank you to all the fans that's been supporting that song and brought it back into the top 100. What do you remember about recording that song? I just remember knowing that I, I need to get on as much of this song as possible because I was like, at the end, take that, rewind it back. I just knew I need to be a presence on this record because I knew it was going to go crazy. So much exciting stuff. Thank you so much. Thanks.